Hey guys, Isaac here, and we are back with more Minecraft. This is the Let's Play Episode 5. I'm recording this back to back with Episode 4, so I won't, of course, have read any of your comments about what I should build, so I decided for this episode to just be a general improving my situation episode. As you can see, I got back to my house from the cave off in, I believe, this direction. And I now have a lot more coal, which is nice, because it means I don't have to really worry about torches, at least not for a while. So a lot of this episode is going to be instructional. Um, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and build is a bow. I'm putting it off for way too long. So you get three strings, arrange them like so. Three sticks, arrange them like so. Bow. Um, you might be able to hear a skeleton outside. There he is. This is why I love having windows. He's gonna die. So now we have our bow and arrows, and to make more arrows, besides the ones that you pick up from skeletons that die, you take flints, feathers, and then sticks in the middle. Pretty easy recipe. It gives you four arrows per whatever. Um, one other thing, I'm gonna go ahead and dump into my furnaces seven pieces of iron, all that iron that I collected. Um, I can could technically do eight, but I only have seven. And I'm also going to put in some of those clay balls from earlier. And while those are going, I'm going to go ahead and go outside and see if I can clear out any monsters in the area. Nice little flower garden that I made during the night when I got bored. I actually don't see anything, which is pretty cool. No creepers. No more skeletons. No docile spiders. Huh. Yeah, there really is nothing around. Oh, there's a spider. Now, I don't need the string, so I might not actually engage this guy. During the day, until you attack them, spiders are peaceful. Peaceful. They still hurt you if you touch them, but they won't actually attack you. They'll just hiss at you. Hence why the eyes are not glowing. Hey, now! That was not an attack little wimp trying to plow into me. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and plant my cactuses, too. Um, that was stupid. So just put them in, on sand. Um, I like to put them near water. I don't think cactuses actually need water, though. From memory, I don't seem to think they do need water. But light makes them grow faster. So I'm going to go ahead and give them more light, which means that they will grow at night. Uh, you can also use this to grow them indoors, but... I like growing them outdoors because they'll occasionally kill an animal, which is always fun. Now, most of my iron, at least, should be done. Okay, good. All finished. I'm going to show you two really cool recipes. The first one is buckets. I already have one bucket, so I'm not going to make one, but that's how you make a bucket. Buckets can be used for transporting water, lava, and milk. And milk currently has no purpose in the game, but you can milk cows. And then the compass is made like so. Redstone is mined from deep underground. I got this from the dungeon. I'm going to go ahead and make a compass. And the cool thing about the compass is, if you watch it down there in my hotbar, it's clearly pointing at something. Not north, unfortunately. You can't actually use it to find your way through the world. But it will always lead you right back to your spawn. So, like, this block is probably my spawn, because it wigs out whenever I'm standing right here. And it's somewhere around here. Because, like, now it's behind me. Now, yeah, it's like this block. So, yeah, it always points towards your spawn, and that's handy. Um, I actually think I will go make a bucket. Having two buckets is good. I mean, obviously, you want as many as possible, but there is a reason to have two buckets which is using them to create an infinite water source. I'm going to create one inside my home. Um, actually, no. I'll create one just outside my home. I probably won't need water during the night. So just take a bucket, walk up to water, scoop up two clumps of water. Um, you notice that the water like flows and then reforms, and I can dump water back in and then take it back. Um, these, the water that I'm holding is source blocks. Whenever you place a source block, water comes out of it. 
you can also pick it back up. Reusable, etc., etc. Um, and once you have two blocks of source water, you can use them to create an infinite water pool, which is convenient because they're very small. So you can keep them inside your house or whatever. So just dig a 2x2 two two square, like so. Ooh, that's ugly. I'm going to replace that with sand from not my water source. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm a bit nitpicky. Now place one water block here, and then quickly place the other one there. Infinite water source. No matter how many buckets I take away from this, it will always replenish. Which is handy if you want to build some of the water feature, which I may eventually do. I like water in this game. In fact, I love water. But for now, all we want to do is irrigate this cropland. Um, how big is this, actually? One, two, three, four, five by six. That actually gives me a quite devilish idea. What's this? Oh, cool, it's dirt, too. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be my plan. So the way that crops work um, is you plant seeds on a hoed piece of land, and then it will grow if it has sun and water within four spaces. Now the recipe to make a hoe, which... Oh, come on. Ugh, I forgot that. Um, there's this weird... I think it's a bug. If you're holding a bucket and you open a chest, then because the bucket dump button and the chest open button are the same, you just dump out the bucket as well. The same thing happens with your bow. Like, you know, once you have a bow, you can shoot arrows. I don't think I showed that, but you can shoot arrows. And if you activate a chest, then you also shoot an arrow into it. Kind of funny. Same with workbenches. So this is how you make a hoe. And they are... Actually, I might want that. I don't really need my compass right now, given that my house is right in front of me. So, once you have a hoe, you go and till some land, and you can till any of this green stuff. And wow, first try. Sometimes seeds pop out. Not all that commonly, but sometimes they do. I'm just going to go ahead and hoe a little bit of this pretty fast, try and get some seeds. And this will eventually go away. It doesn't stay like this forever. Um, it also goes away if you walk on it enough. Um, my hoe just broke. Okay, I have ten seeds though. That's plenty. So I need another hoe to hoe this land. And because the water only needs to be within four blocks of the land that it's irrigating, which only works for, like, food crops, for wheat. Um, reeds have to be within one space. They can't be any distance at all. But, uh, pick up these flowers. With food crops, you only need to be within four spaces in order to be considered irrigated. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and place water right there, and then I think I have some dirt. Fill that up. So now, theoretically, that block underneath this one here is within four squares of most of this. I put another one, like, underneath here, which is wood for some reason. Oh, well. This isn't actually my floor. Uh, perfect. That should irrigate most of this land. And I'm okay with it not covering all of it, because I am going to put a fence around it. So I've heard that crouching means that you no longer mess up your tilled land. But I'll just tell you what I know. Um, I know that, hey, that looks either good or bad. Whatever. Um, all that I know is that previous to crouching, walking on your crop land was bad. But I think that crouching negates that. I think I read that in the update. Um, am I crouched right now? There we go. I'm going to go ahead and plant some seeds. Uh, hopefully I'm not messing up my land just by walking on it. And that's actually kind of nice. I like how the water sources are hidden. 
typically you just have like water like running in a stream down the middle but I like concealing the water sometimes depends on what sort of look I'm going for and a very important part of this is to fence it in so here's how you make fences just like that you get two fences let me go ahead and make a little bushel and using these going to fence off that entire area yeah. you can see you place them as posts and then they connect when you place one next to them like this will connect two of them and fences are pretty cool I like fences there's some interesting ways you can build with them because of their post. Oh, come on. Need two more. Fine. Oh, and it's getting dark, too. Um, anyway. Fences are nifty, I think. I like using them. And because, unless there's a fence next to them, they look just like a post, you can use them to make, uh, I've seen like signposts, I've seen light posts, which are kind of cool. Or you can just build like uh, struts, I guess you would call them. I know what I can do. I can automate this door. Let's automate this door. Um, okay, smooth stone and, and planks are the two things we're going to be using. If you take three pieces of smooth stone, place them in a line, you get a stone pressure plate. If you place three pieces of plank, in a line, you get a wooden pressure plate. And what pressure plates do is they activate stuff. So I'm going to put a pressure plate right there. Right. Oh, it's a half block. Ugh. Where's another half block? I can make that one a two tall. No problem. Oh, you can have just one. Perfect. Darn porch area. So here we go. And now you see the door is closed, pressure plate, door open. Which means I can, without activating the door, just run straight through. And the same is true for the wooden plate on this side. Pretty cool, eh? I'm not going to automate this door because I'm going to be using it much rarely. I don't know, I might put one there. But I, I'd definitely bump into it if I was sweeping wide to come down into my furnace room. Speaking of furnace room, my bricks are done. Wait a minute, did I just hear a splashing noise? <gasps> oh yeah, because it's a half block. That's pretty funny, actually. I kind of like that. I think I might have to put a half block there just to patch it up anyway. I don't like the blue. If it was the same color, though, I'd like leaving that there. Ah, darn you half blocks. You make everything so difficult. But I still love how you look. Um, oh yeah, bricks. If you take bricks, place them in a 2x2, uh, two two, they make them into brick blocks. There's no other use for them, so don't be stingy with making these. Do be stingy with using them, though, because they're... Depending on how much clay spawns in your map, they can be really hard to find. And... Looking through my inventory... I'm trying to see if there's anything else here that I can show off a recipe for crafting or something. Um, I guess not. Um, hopefully you guys will leave some comments telling me what you'd like to see me build. If there's a particular resource you'd like to see me farm. Um, I mean, obviously you can't farm like, uh, you know, you can't farm smooth stone, for instance. You just have to create it the hard way. But you can farm cobblestone, and I could show off how to do that. Or, man, every time I walk over here, it's going to make a splashing noise. Yep, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it splashes every time. Uh, that might not have been the best plan. Maybe I'll just put a half block there. Anyway, I'll figure that out at some later time. Uh, if you liked this video, go ahead and comment or subscribe or whatever form of affection you wish to gift into me. And if you hated it, then I apologize for wasting your time. Um, here's the door.